All right, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, and welcome to the stream. We got some stationers today. Hey, good morning, Saul. How you doing? Uh, Bishmoto, I pronounced it wrong. I'm so sorry. Monster Race, how are you guys doing today? I'm going to go over here and check audio, make sure it's coming through. I didn't make any changes. But you never know. Sounds like it's okay. All right. Um... Uh, let's see if the save is broken. Um, in fact, let me do this here real quick. If I go to my saves, um, documents, games, stationers, saves. Uh, okay, so this is our last one. I'm going to make a copy of it. Paste it. What happens? I'm looking for it. There it is. Hmm. Uh, hang on a sec. Had to reboot. Head steam running. I swear. Yesterday, I had a little problems with Steam. It would run, um, but it would launch very slowly. It's really weird. Alex had no problem. I was suspecting there was something wrong with my account, but I know. I don't know. It's weird. All right now, let's do that. And let's bring that back up. And I have to go. Um, the game launches. I need to go launch Discord because Ben will be here in about an hour. And Discord's running. Go do this thing real quick. Hey, discount. Good morning to you. Actually, it's for your afternoon, isn't it? I have to do this, this. Man, appreciate the uh, gifted sub to discount. Very generous of you. Appreciate that very much. All right, so let's um do this. Hey, and, and a gifted that. sub to the Shimoto. Bishimoto. Bishimoto. I'm, I'm I'm trying. I am trying. Hey, look at that. And to Saul, too. That's three gifted subs today, man. I appreciate that so much. That is awesome. There's Poodman. Seeing your discard take... Wait, seeing your discord take so long to start up, I'm sure there's something better than Electron I could use for them to use. Is that their engine? Their back end? Their code? I don't know what you're talking about. So I don't want the copy. Let's load this one up. See if anything breaks. Now we don't have a rocket in place, so. Oh, okay. All right, well. You developers, you're smart. You know, hey, and it's not all the time. Look at that. <laughs> Monster, you're out of control, man. 
appreciate it again. There's Ben. All right, so I'm curious. I know he's Looney Tunes, but in a good way. So we did have a bunch of rocket parts. Oh, they're all, oh wait. What's that? Oh, oh my God, they changed the kits. I did not read that. You know what? Here's what we're gonna do. Um, so all the rocket parts we had are gone, which makes sense. Oh wait. Yep. Um, I'm gonna take a. What the heck is that doing there? Just when you thought you knew what you're looking. I know. I know. What the heck? Wasn't the sun just? Where's Where's Earth? Oh, there's the sun. Um, what the heck is going on? I'm freaking out. That's so weird. What is the... Um, how do you get to the console in this game? F3? Thanks. Okay, I don't see non-fiddle error steel frame cannot be registered in grid. Okay. Failed to register, that's the port. Alright. Wanna make sure nothing was severely broken. So we have solar and a gas generator. Why is the gas generator on? Okay, that's off, but is the new one on? Yes, it is. All right, cool. Um, so I'm, I'm just running around to make sure everything's still stable and working. So we have plenty of power. So for right now, I'm gonna go over here and turn the new generator. Yeah, the, the rocket update, yeah. Well, I tell you what, uh, um, discount, I'm, I'm going to actually, I'm just gonna make sure everything's okay, and then I'm gonna do a quick save. It looks like everything's fine. Being that we didn't have a rocket in place, I'm assuming we're not gonna be hit hard. What, what troubles me is I, I don't see the earth. It used to be right there. Did they do something with the planet orientation or something? They did, all right. Planets now have trajectories. Oh, so they actually orbit one another. Interesting. All right. Realistic orbits. All right. I hate to say it. I, I cheated by looking at the Earth to know where the sun was. Oh, hey. There it is. All right. All right. Doing a quick save. And let's hop out of here real quick. Let's go read the um, change notes. Oh, so we'll we'll have some uh, some outages. All right, so let me go to Steam, and since I didn't read their update, so they did a hot fix, and it looks like. All right, let's see here. So first of all, Cliff Notes. That was from the. Previous, oh, that, no, that was a hot fix. All right, so let's read that later. Complete overhaul of the rockets, top to bottom, new Cosmic International Uniform DLC, and more. All right. 
This update contains changes to data and prefabs and will break some saves. Old rockets have also been removed and will no longer be present in your saves. Oh, okay, that's good. Uh, rockets were often considered final goal of stationaries. However, instead of designing them as an in-game necessity, we've insisted We've instead treated them as a, another system that weaves itself into the other systems of the games. Rockets support building stations and stations supporting building rockets. Oh, all right. Seriously, the rockets were simply yet unforgiving. It was hard to tell what was happening unless you already knew everything about rockets. I never knew. Maybe that's because I don't know anything about rockets. Rockets have become a new system for you to engineer. They have built, they are built from the structural fuselage. This is starting to get on my nerves. <laughs> uh, which house many in internal parts. Fuel tanks uh, must be manually positioned and plumbed. Uh, similarly, placing batteries, cargo storage, pipes, wires, chutes. So like umbilicals. Huh. Okay, cool. Massive update to the studio team. We're adding ground, adding from the ground up Reworked rocket works rockets into the game. This is not only provides fantastic new content or experience, but it sets the stage for us to expand the game in a whole host of directions. Oh, so like sending out probes and stuff or something. Uh, times are tough um, for many game studios lately, and Stationers is a very niche project. You, uh oh. You, our players, are a very important part of the development, so please consider buying our content DLC. I think I have all the DLC except for this new one, I think. Not only does the update contain an entire new game around rockets, it also contains a massive array of performance abilities. I did notice that the game loaded a lot faster. Those are kind of already there. My first rocket to build, throw away. Oh, I gotcha. Well, it'd be nice if you could, um, Maybe somehow track, you know? Track them. Uh, so there's a rocket control motherboard now. Device on the rocket can be remotely accessed through the rocket control motherboard. Oh, so you don't need tons of logic then. Okay, all right. Uh, motherboard, motherboard gets a it's to traverse through the new data links. Ah, when an uplink downlink pair is set up, the motherboard can access devices on the rocket and the rocket devices are made available to the uplink network. So it's like having a radio telescope. Cool. This allows planet side logic to see rocket side devices on the network. So traditional logic systems can still interact with the rocket devices. The rocket motherboard provides a visual representation <laughs> of destinations to which rockets can travel. Okay. Uh, each world has a uniquely authored map providing different locations and resources for rockets to obtain. When a destination is set and the rocket engine is fired, rocket progress towards the destination, scanners can be used to unlock new, st new static destinations through the chart action. Okay, I'll have to see that. Instance, new asteroids to visit. Oh, I see. So you're going to discover stuff. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> right. Nom, nom, nom. Rockets act, as a way. rockets act as a way for players to obtain resources and gases, but rockets now provide a framework for us to modify other aspects of the game. Okay. While not making the first cut of the feature for this release, we intend to add seven. Which can increase the number of traders who visit. Oh. Uh, cannot. Oh, contact traders and even microwave remote power from space. Oh, that's so cool. I don't know anything about that. I had a mod once in Kerbal and it, I, I was doing it wrong. Uh, we also want to ensure that traveling to other planets get enough attention. This isn't a side note. Traveling back and forth between worlds will be possible. Okay. So we got different engines. Okay. Engine sections are important. 
as it as it dictates how efficiently you use fuel and how much thrust you can produce. The pumped gas engine and pumped liquid engine are the two simplest engines pulling fuel directly from the pipes and tanks. The pressure fed gas engine operates on gaseous fuel. Liquid fuel. Oh. And gas fuel. Oh, interesting. Because up until now, we've been using a gas fuel, right? The pressure fed liquid fuel can be the most fuel efficient, but managing liquid fuel flow via pressure and being. Yeah, I don't want to challenge on that. I'm going to blow something up. We have different payloads, miners. I don't know which is which. Is that a miner? Miners gather ore output to the chute network, transport gotcha. Some infrastructure pieces. Different fuselages. Oh, there's the rocket GUI that shows the trajectories. Oh, wow, cool. You can do it through the through a GUI, but like everything else, you can get more functionality improvements to logic gotcha. Oh, there, there's the downlink avionics. Two fuel tanks. All right. Oh. Oh. All right. Those are your batteries. Hmm. All right. We wanted to improve the accessibility of rockets so that players who can't manually assemble a little Eden addressed. The logic can still use rockets. The rocket motherboard has three main pages. Oh, I see. Rocket map application. Gotcha. Um, you can't use your tablet to debug issues. The map tab uh, lets you see the locations you've explored and see rockets moving around the space. The location tab lets you see specific information. Okay. So this is the map. This is assuming. is where it was launched from. This is where it went to, maybe? Okay. Traders, as well as rockets, we've also given traders a little love, including adding lights and other visual improvements and cleaning up their assets. New traders, new data structure, air pack. What? Oh, that's from the traders. Cool tips. Okay, sweet. We'll see how that orbital orbital simulation, like you guys were talking about. Well, that's a rocket. I was difficulty performance. So occlusion. We've simplified the approach of occlusion, make it more constant. Okay, and provide a significant performance improvement. Previously, the render distance was set individually for each object, leading to inconsistencies. Okay. We're gonna see how that works. Atmospherics. Uh oh. Um, there were some instances where a very large number of atmospheres could be present in the world. Oh, okay. All right. And they had a hot fix. Hot fix addresses two main issues uh, the new world artifacts sometimes being present in the skybox and a checksum error related to traders. Data text on rocket info, reverted changes for combining stacks of reagent mixes. This was causing a floating point error. Change to move region. Okay. Change dirty ore mined from space to be processed in the recycler will waste half of its contents. Oh. All right. Change the names of space maps. <coughs> okay. We haven't experienced that yet. Fixed a uh, null ref that was attempted to load first world. Fixed vault world all right temporarily disabled the sun time command as it was causing the game to crash remove the deposit materials okay all right well we'll have to see how things go right when we get things work you know Oop. did i do it oh.
Well, you know, this loaded a lot faster last time. <laughs> well, I finally located a case enclosure for my my uh, ESP module. It has a barrel connector spot, and it's 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 um set in place by a friction, which I think is going to be okay. And then the um, the ESP module will sit on top, and you can see there's holes for the power and for the micro USB, and this is where your LED wires, leads, or whatever would come out of, and it even gets a nice little lid. It goes on nicely, and then it's got screw holes, so you can keep it attached. Exactly what I was looking for. All right, load up again. This is what I was saying was loading faster. Now, case in point, I do have a seven, eight year old CPU, so. All right, cool. Oh. All right. So, last Sunday, Ben and I focused on setting up a new generator. Now, we also. Let's see. Uh oh. Might not be good. Hang on. Oh, it's very low. Why? All right, Ben, we got a problem. Oh. Oh, there it is. For some reason, I have Ben double check logic here. We made a change to the filtering system which seems to be okay well the um something i don't fully understand but the filters got nerfed a while back and bad filter oh, i can check the um concept of keeping a high pressure in the network to have it work more efficiently. So for some reason this is on and it should not be. So what is controlling me turn this logic off. Turn that off. Uh, I received my Hue Playlight bar mounts today, and I just glued in the collars and can mount them onto a couple pivoting arms attached to my monitor. Oh, cool. Yay. I have one light strip from Hue. So we're, we're getting a state of one for some reason, because this does not say zero. So that is why that's on. So it sees, wait a minute. Oh, pressure. Are we checking pressure? No. Yes. All right. So looking for zero pressure. So this isn't working. All right. And let me do a, a save. Let me reload. That makes it very convenient, Poodman. Some of our logic isn't working right. Well, I don't exactly know 
I got the addressable LEDs, the WS218 or something like that. Um, Cause I wanted to see if I could do something simple indoor where it's warm. And uh, I've had some, so right now we have a 240 kilopascals. And if I'm not mistaken, we have logic right here. Oh, that's why it's not working off the wire. That, that could be the problem right there. I've been on a mission to get everything off my desk and mounted. Oh, that's actually, that's changed. I don't remember that visual before. It's sending a state one. One of, one of Ben's missions today is to get our um, it's got a state of one so why is that not on um, to get our electrical over here isolated alright and then it turned off alright Since we're not running a generator, we should have no more coming in. Check filters. 23. Well, they're all good. Looks like they're going to run. Um, let's see here. This logic's off. This one is looking at pipe analyzer. Dash pressure check. Looking at. Use uh, pipe analyzer. Oh. Oh, okay. So we're checking pressure uh, here and comparing for a greater amount. We have greater than 13. We don't. This is sending a zero to what device? To, oh, all the filters. So they should be off. So hang on, let me do this. control in this thing. This is called outside side. Like that. This is sending a one. That's um zero. Okay. Hmm. I have to dub double check with Ben when he gets here. So this is looking for also zero.
So the filters will only kick on if there is more than 13 megapascals, all right? They're, they're turning on anyway. I'm baffled. So right now, something should be off. I'm feeling this turbo pump outside side. He has it set to zero though. analyzer waste oh that would be this thing yeah there I think there's something on that shouldn't be on Ben I'll let you hop in and fix it um seen the blueprints on this okay oh well, that's interesting why is there gas in there and not being design we're keeping 237 and 5 so I thought we were trying to keep 13 megapascals in here hydration critical yeah yeah and um maybe I did find one busted line somewhere, but I can't, I don't see another one. I thought we fixed the uh, wire popping by reducing the um, flow of the turbo pumps. I don't see any broken wires. Waste line? I think it's okay. Yeah. Again, we had a big patch, so um and again, I've always had a problem. Um and I don't know if this is a known issue, that you could have perfect logic working and you save and then when you come back, something's broken. Looks right, but it's not working until you... For me, it was to rebuild the logic writer and whatever it was talking to. Deconstruct it, reconstruct it, and that usually fixed the problem. Usually. Let me... um. So this is working because we had a blown power. Oh, uh-oh. 
Where'd that come from? Uh. Dude, the ladder. We're using oxygen in here, so. Very low pressure. I thought it was higher. lines seem to be okay so where did that chunk of ice come from carbon dioxide i'm stuck i'm stuck I got a tool in my hand, I can fix it. see anything near the ladder am I just blind and don't see it behind the furnace Oh, I see it. Okay. All right. Then four. I didn't. Totally blind. Now, that makes some sense because the wire that was controlling the waistline was blown for the logic. That's fixed now. I did turn off our generator, our new generator was working fine. Let's go take care of our suit maintenance here. All right, so that's turned off because this got down to zero. We don't have anything that's adding to the waistline. Uh oh, all right, all right, come on it.
Am I going to get better over time? Do I have to take a pill? It's temperature in here. 40 degrees. I think that's a little too warm. I can't remember. Hey, I got better. Nice. I ate some. Oh. Okay. This is still on because what is this called? This is called outside. on the fill. So this is looking at the filter pressure check. The batch writer that turns on what? That's gotta be the filters. Okay, so what's what is controlling this outside? Is that here? There it is. Alright, so we're looking at Pipe analyzer, that thing. So we're looking at that, looking at pressure, we want zero. And it doesn't have zero, okay? That's why those are on, and that's why that's on. Help circulate the waste. So, okay. So things are on, at least that's off, that's off. Now let's test if I turn this on, that turned on because it, okay, so that logic's work. Uh, this is the one that I'm confused. So if, Pipe analyzer has pressure greater than 13, filter should not be on. And they're on. So let's do this. Turn them off. And I'm going to turn off the logic. And we're looking at the compare unit, batch rider filterization, it should be on. Okay. Is furnish pressure check and want gas pressure. Okay, and we're gonna go to filters. All right, state zero. Okay, so. All right, so it's just gonna take a while for the pressure to build up, yay. All right, so now the only way I can think of getting pressure, ooh, we're down to 11% power down here. All right, hang on. Wait, is that right? Oh yeah. 
Upside is two point two percent. Whoa. Alright, hang on. Let's throw in the new generator. Kind of a manual process right now. Twenty percent top side. Gotcha. Right. And then so I think this got too warm, that's why this didn't kick on. Yeah. Last Sunday, Ben and I decided to go with a different direction with the gas generator. So instead of using turbo pumps to uh, pull out the hot nitrogen that we're using to cool the chamber, we're using that new big super fan thing, the uh, powered vent. And then instead of using passive vents with a turbo pump, we're using active vents to uh, just notice that power light's different. Why? So, red, red, orange, green. Red. Well, that's weird. Or notice that. So, anyways, as you can see, we have fairly consistent temperature. It creeps up every look, every every little bit and it's um it's running <laughs> um all right so this is our this is our cooling line and um our coolant is we'll say four degrees Celsius. And since we can control the um, pressure in which the active vents supply, which we're doing it right here. So they're set to 150 versus 101. We can do the same thing with the, the step chip, right? We could, uh, have a high, medium, and low, or something like that on the active ends. So if we saw our temperature um, getting, you know, close to what it needs to be, we increase until it goes down, and then go back. But I think what we're going to try to do is automate this. Right, right, yeah. We're going to automate this. Let it run because this will run through the entire session as long as we have fuel. Why does it say zero in volume? Weird. All right. Well, we went through it like crazy. Now this is this is interesting because our output from the other one used to be like 26 kilopascals. This one's at, well, it's not gonna go above 200 because of the network. It's pretty warm. Oh, did, is the volume only for liquids? You're right, you're right, you're right. All right, so charging here nicely. 
and we should be transferring power. There we go. Okay. Now there's no way that one generator, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna run that one because it runs too hot. Um, but we should be seeing that's on, that's off, and there is no pressure. Okay, that pressure's building. That's good. All right, sweet. Yeah, it looks okay now. Yep. I'm going to, so we don't run out of power, I'm going to go put on our backup to backup system here. See? <laughs> oh, there's... All right, doing an F5. All right. I'm gonna turn off some machines here and save a little power. Uh oh, it's not good. Kind of expected that to happen, I guess. We find all the radiators, make sure they're not on the network. Good. There's one down here somewhere. I thought there was. I don't see a radiator. Oh, all the hydrogen should be pumped out. Yep, we can turn this off. This whole site down. Good. All right. So there is two radiators here. Is this one? That's not connected. There's one back here somewhere. Oh, that one. Oh, there's one down here. That's right. hiccups to where loading in a save um even though logic looks like it's correct it doesn't work correctly i had to rebuild one little logic writer but um so far that's the only thing more electro too by the way everything's running and what happened was that the logic... I think I might just put a knife in I it. think that's a really good idea. See if it works. Was, oh, yes, that I was did. Spooky. Beautifully. Beautifully. I don't know why it echoed. Um, for some reason, this, this logic right here broke. No, this one broke. And, uh... This was turned on. I'm sorry, these were turned on when they shouldn't have.
That was it. I don't know why hers echoed. Echoed for me. Uh, okay, let's go over here. Good morning with a polite queenly knifing. More ran. And that out. Do those non-insulated pipes radiate heat? Uh, they they will, yes. Because they're not insulated, the vacuum will cool them down. Yes. But I've never had these form liquid. The only time we ever had that problem is when we enable these uh, medium radiators. Then it makes it too cold. Okay, so when that gets up to 13 megapascals, that's when those turn on. Okay. Good. All right. Okay. working. All right, power's creeping back up. So I guess the solar tracking being that doesn't work anymore. Solar tracking's broke. I wonder if someone Have you moved the surface of the moon or is it still on the equator? Um, uh, what? Have I, no. Hey, good morning, Ben. Good morning. It's starting to look like I got my work cut out for me today. Well, um, maybe. <laughs> I don't know what that is or that is. I think that's the other planet. Oh, they added um, moons. Oh, well, yeah, I think that, see, yeah they, they've added real orbital mechanics. Oh, I, I was just see uh, Deimos and Phobos from Mars. Uh, my Europa gets away, gets way less light now because of Jupiter is in the way a lot of the time. But does your tracking still work though? Because it looks like tracking is broken. Unless I just need to rewrite it or uh, um Oh yes, the update might have broken that. That's why I was gonna go over here. Let's see if on the wiki 
new one is updated. I mean, we really don't, if, since the new gas generators work, if we put a few more of those online, I think we'll be okay. Until we can figure out real fix solar. Because we have the solid generator. Because orbits now have more realistic uh, oscillations tracking that relies on solar angle to remain the same doesn't work anymore. That makes sense, yes. Well, and I, I think, um, where is it? There it is. All right, you ready for me to jump in? Uh, doing a quick save and yep. Right, jumping in. Okay. No, you're not. Uh, now you are. There we go. Get no status on this side though. Oh wait, unless you're connected. It's still processing. Um Invalid operation exception the collection was wait, what? Uh, collection was modified, the enumeration operation may not execute. That yellow or red warnings? Time. Yellow or red? red. Oh, uh okay, so let me do another F five and let's have you hop out and then I'll reload. Um, so looks like I am looking, well, that's, uh, the I'm logic, out. yeah, okay. Daylight sensor, looking at vertical, so yeah. All right, so let me do another save, completely reload. I'll just have to look for, um, some, uh, new logic. Like I said, we're gonna we're gonna get like. My name, how you doing? Yeah, like I said, I just gotta find someone that got it working and copy with pride, you know. Steal with permission, copy with pride. But since Ben and That's I, what I was somebody was suggesting in chat here to switch to a two axis uh, solar tracker. I think that's going to be the way to go, even for the moon. I think though, oh, you're right, because I went back to the simplest way of doing it. So, okay. All right. I think yeah, I used I think to have I saw, uh, something yeah. on Mars about the, you know, the horizon of the, the sun as it uh, crosses the sky there. It's, it's over like a 90 degree, uh, Point of view here, uh, and I think that actually changes. So I'm not sure. I think I have uh, an IC logic or tracking tool. Was the, the one before I did that? I had like eight chips that did the dual. All right, go ahead. Ben. Yeah. Yeah. I am going through my water, I guess. Um, I guess I have to go through, because I adjusted our settings so that our food and water was like bare minimum. So we could concentrate on actually playing versus running back and forth, eating and drinking. I mean, we've got plenty of tomatoes, so we can make tons of tomato soup. Bad we can't have a grilled cheese sandwich with it. Jeez. 
right, let's see how that works. Oh, power free. Oh, good. Those are hard coded to the difficult settings. Now you'll need to create your own difficulty setting if you want to custom that. Um, right. They used to be custom. Um, well, it's just it's an error kind of day. The uh, water dispenser is blinking. Oh, so that doesn't that one doesn't work over there. I'm gonna try the basic, turn it off and turn it on again. Yeah, it doesn't like it. All right, so I was able to get water from uh, greenhouse one. Oh, uh, you know what? Well, there's still water left here, but oh. yeah, it's not gonna refill, I guess. wonder if I noticed this digital valve was on which is okay it's doing what it needs to do yeah there's no water here okay greenhouse one has got water that seems to be okay So we're fitting an atmosphere in there at the proper temperatures. It's a little, a little warm, so that's why digital valve is on. Pretty cold down there. All right, I guess it's working. That's one of the logic points that always breaks. Ah, oh hey Ben, how you doing? So all the rocket parts we had in the locker are gone. Probably should have uh, recycled but, those. But. I know, I know. Okay. A lot of resources and money there. Um, so to the best of my knowledge, if you want to just take a look at the logic, make sure this is working okay. I think it is. And let's not do the electrical. Let's worry about getting, since solar is broken and I don't want to hunt down logic and swap it. Let's, um, let's see about getting, I had an idea. So we got a new generator up and running, right? With minimal effort. Hydration critical. Uh -huh. What about if instead of having a generator in one room, could we put four in a room that's big enough for four and make sure we have adequate vent going in and out? Four gas generators, huh? Yeah. I, I have to go. I wonder if um, I'm gonna check our settings file real quick and see if um, see if I can. Spell that wrong. So let's see here. Um, I'm gonna take care of my water here real quick. So why wouldn't that work if we had? As a, as a working model, one generator in one room. Or maybe we could test it and just add a second generator because we know we can cool quick enough. I'm sorry, we can evacuate the hot gases quick enough. Yeah, he was, he was telling me about that. We're gonna try to focus on our power generation though. My helmet, oh my. Goodness. So if I look at the water pipes over here, there is 440 liters over here. All right. So let's leave the, our two generators as is. And let's uh, construct the bigger room for two and do an experiment on 
doing the exact same setup for one, but for two, and see what we have to increase. Oh, and by the way, they changed the kits for the logic kits. They look make sure all right let me save well i just dropped the gas generators too so that could have been it uh go ahead and hop out real quick let me reload yeah i don't see uh, i'm out okay saving Uh, good luck, discount. <laughs> now, on my end, things seem to load, seems like faster. I'm digging yeah, that. I was reading that they optimized a few things. Yep. All right, Ben, go ahead and give it a, a wing ding there. So you're going to learn to pressurize the liquid fuel. Challenging. Well, beings with the introduction of the new rocket system is actually going to be beneficial for us because with the miners, we don't have to go get ore. But for gases, I think we're initially trying to get the ice and we're going to crush it and then... I'm in. Okay. Hey, Kate, how you doing? Good morning. FYI, when you start a new game, it defaults suit pressure to 101 now instead of 20. Oh, a new game. Okay. All right. So for places that are hot and cold, you really have to adjust your suit right away. Oh, I gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Please, Katie, not Kate. I apologize, Katie. I apologize. All right, so what kind of walls were we used again? I I can't remember what we settled on here. These are reinforced window. Reinforced. What am I looking for? Do I have any reinforced? I don't have any reinforced. I'm gonna put this here. That didn't work. This is all the closet. This is the basic walls. Well, that was that was our initial plan, or my initial plan was to go for ice and crush it versus going for gas. Um,
check out this new toy. Small direct heat exchanger. Wow. Doesn't require any circulation. Okay. I might replace those, uh, the ones we have, so we can have a passive solution instead of pumping everything into a loop. Okay. Um, before we go down that path, can we fix our power issue? Oh yeah, this is just one of the many, many things on my list of things to do today. <laughs> do you actually have that documented, or are you just finding stuff when you read stuff? Oh, that's gonna be. I don't know. I don't really have a system. <laughs> I see. So I want the. Do I want the outside to be outside? Here, is that gonna? Yeah. Screws go out, and we were just doing one. Yeah. Okay. So in the very back here setting up the new generators. We got two. Floors. Oh, I need more steel. Kata, what's up? Well, we have a, a little bit of a power crisis. Um, being that they added like real world orbital mechanics that affects the tracking I was using for solar and I don't have the, I don't want to go swap it out. So right now I'm running a generator top side and a generator bottom side. And we do get some solar when it hits the panels in their current uh, state. What are looking for? Steel sheets. All right. That should be just enough to do what I need to do, do. Had an issue logging on, trying to fix it. But now it fires. So to make this look neat and pretty, do some vacuuming here. Stole some IC code from the workshop to fix my solar and I just got angry with it. Oh, you I, Mr. Circle Boy. <laughs> hey Red, what's up? Uh, set the flat note, so that's what I want. So first of all, let me do my due diligence here. Um, let me do. There's a discount. Why didn't you get a shout out? Oh, I know why. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. That was weird. Guys, there's a link for Red Bunch Gaming. Give him a follow right now. Whatever you're doing, stop. Do it. Unless, of course, you're in the middle of a serious operation. You know repairing clogged heart valve or something, but you shouldn't be watching We're Twitch talking. if you're doing that anyways. And there's also uh, this guy who really knows what he's doing. So uh, give him a follow. That'd be discount. I also learned the gas generator does not generate as much power as it used to. Yeah, we, when we were reading the wiki about stooping up the fuel, um, the stats on the unofficial wiki are inaccurate. Okay, and then I want to shave out a little bit of this. Little bit. So anyways, Discount Engineer and Red Bench Gaming both play Kerbal. They both play Stationeers. 
Discount was branching out with a couple of new games on Friday, I believe. <clears throat> yes, I spent ages trying to work out <clears throat> what I was doing wrong and only find out it was nerfed, yes. For some reason, everything I come up Every single time I come over to your stream, Andy, it forces me to mod view. Oh, um, I think you can change that on your side since you are a mod. You don't, I'm not in mod view, but I do have the options for modding, but I, I maybe, no, I, I just pop out my chat and I don't think I have it. I can't. You were playing that card game, which I slay the spire. I played that. I like that a lot. I didn't finish it. Just probably my biggest drawback. Never finish anything. All right. So I seem to be missing a tool. Did I drop a tool? All right. Now let's see if you get a null ref here again. Yep. Okay. So putting down the get the generators in multiplayer seems to give a null ref, All right? So what do people finish today? Breakfast? I'm not gonna worry about it, Ben. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it just says occlusion manager object reference not set to an instance of an object. Huh. Right. I think that means that my client doesn't know what the heck you're doing. Occlusion, that's something they Let's adjusted. See if I can see where you put it. Okay. Um, go past the new generator we installed. Gotcha. Uh, can I kick some stuff? Oh, there they are. me you can see him okay oh i was gonna say i don't see you though all right well let's keep going with yeah, it and I if turn him on and off can you i can interact with him yeah oh okay that'll be a special bug for the devs yeah so what do we what do we need to finish this Plastic sheets. I have to have plastic sheets on. Look at that. I'm going to do the top before that's impossible to do. All right, so let's, let's, uh, I'm going to catch everyone up on what's going on over here. So last Sunday, we didn't have anything bust. We had an idea of using, so this gas generator works, but it has a little heating problem. And we've got so much stuff in place to prevent it from overheating, but it still overheats. And it's been, it's been like that. The overheat problem wasn't a problem until the um, phase change. Um, ben has spent. Unfortunately, the whole support system draws almost as much power as it this thing generates. Yep. So what we're hoping is that the new generator. So this uses a turbo pump to ingest cold nitrogen to keep the room cold, and we do that via pass events. And then we use turbo, which it used to only need two, and then we upped it to six just so it could keep up. And that they draw so much power. And it can run, I would say, maybe a day, and then it gets too hot and it shuts down. Um, using all the same resources, the same nitrogen feed, the same fuel feed, we have another generator in the same room configuration, but this time we're using active vents and that new, what is it called, a powered vent? A powered vent. And the only thing we're doing is we have the um, um, we have the active vents set above their 101. So we have five of them set to 150. 
And as you can see, the pressure's holding at 150, and the temperature barely creeps. Yeah, Ben's there. He waved. Well up. So if this works, why can't we do two the same way? So of course we might have to increase the number of act events and we'll put two of the power events, but maybe just power one and see if one's still enough for two. And since we have all the connections here, we can just tie into what we got going on here. Very excited. Kato's question is, uh, how do we uh, change the setting on that active uh, event there? Uh, and the answer is it's done by logic. Yeah. So right here, he's got a, a batch writer that looks at, um, looks at this memory and writes out to the act events to the pressure external. So if you want to force it and you only got one, just use the logic writer. But if you have multiple, use a batch writer. Hunger, oh, geez, that's right. Oh, I was going to check real quick. Uh, so I was going to see if I could change our, our game settings for the... Oh, you're welcome, kid. I'm looking for users, Andy. My games, stationers, saves, and then that was in world settings. Let's see. Real quick, I believe the settings were down here. Huh, okay. Those are my original settings, so I'm gonna have to figure out where. So, all right, while I'm down here, let me did I do the plastic for all of them? Good. Did I name this generator in here? Let's see. Yes, Gen 2. All right, so.
It's okay. Sensors. I have an extra sensor. That is logic, logic, logic. How are we doing on power top side? I think we're at 100%. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that generator off. What are you doing, Ben? Trying to fix our electrical up there? Yeah. I'm trying okay. to figure out how everything is laid out. Oh, it was, it was kind of organized until we started expanding. Yeah. Big if. Well, I find that if we turn temporarily, if we turned all the turbo fans or turbo fans, turbo pumps down, it seemed like that helped. And I haven't seen any broken wires. So this one wasn't adjusted. This one was still at 100, and that's why wires popped over here. Yeah, well, I want to cut it over here. But the problem is, if I do that, uh, yeah, that off. part's completely isolated. So the whole filtration and then logic just goes down. Um, I gotta figure out where the main power feed is. Oh, actually, it's right behind you. Yeah. Um, that. There's a logic writer that's. Oh, that's because you stimp. Well, now let's see. There's also. I'm gonna let you do it, but there's also a tie-in right here, Ben. So this uh, medium one here. Yeah, that's the one that's been powering everything. I don't know why it's a medium, but... Um, I did it because I didn't know how power demands are going to be with the filters and the turbo pumps. And that feeds all of this, and then it crosses Let over... Let me try this as a quick and dirty here, and let's we'll see if we can at least get it working. All right. The, um... Oh, yeah. So, right where you snipped it was perfect, yeah, because all the filters are all now on their own grid. You just have to separate the logic. Yeah, I'm just worried I'm cutting off a communication line somewhere, but you just have to see. We'll do a discount. All right, so I was coming up here for sensors. Here. Okay, back online. Oh, suit maintenance time. Yeah, I gotta do that too. Um, so we actually have no water over here at all. Nothing in the lines. Yeah, we should probably fix that. <clears throat> Let's see. I'll check it. Liquid zero. Now it's interesting though. Oh, yeah, so there is absolutely no liquid over here. Um, so I think there should be food over there. So the way to fix that is the ice crushers hooked up can hook up the hydration critical yeah i'm working on it this is going to make this game so annoying <laughs> i'm in here real quick 
if we take that large um, O2 tank there, or the H2O tank, water tank, behind you in that corner, and if we set it on top of there, go out and crush some ice, and we can take that over to the other one. These lines have got 165 fluid. Right. And food. Oh, finish I finish that off. Holy snake, that was loud. I'm gonna go get some ice. Right, thanks. Is there, what do we have in there? Anything? It put, huh. Oh, that's because there's a volume pump that's stopping it, okay. So how's that gonna work if we crush it? To crush it. Are the crushers over here and then it pumps. So this volume pump I was using, I guess to I was trying to get the gases out. That's what I was trying to do. All right, so let me we have a liquid pipes in here anywhere. Oh, we do. So I can. Uh, take that out. Let's pop that with that. Put that back. That water in here. Now there's 96 liters. And there was much rejoicing. What? And there was much rejoicing. Oh yes. They're from Monty Python. Mm -hmm. Yes. A little crowded. Oh, I, I, I didn't mean to press the wrong button. tell when the sun's going to come out. I used to be able to look at the earth to cheat. Um, I'm going to go see if I can find some ice real quick. Hey, has anyone been using the, um, the goggles? that lets you see minerals and stuff. I, I haven't used them in a long, long time. I didn't know if they broke, they changed them or whatever. They do work? Nice. As soon as we fix our power problems, I might have to invest in those. All right, good. Because you know how they make changes and then things break. And you think, oh, I can do this. And then only find out that's been broken. It's been a known issue and you just didn't know about it. Um, they make expanding from your starter base be a proper one much easier oh so yeah so you can find all the stuff you need yeah 
The one issue I think I had with those goggles, say like you had an area that had iron, and once you went and mined all the iron, it still showed the FE floating around? Or was that just a temporary thing and then it cleared up after? That's still there, okay. All right, yeah, I didn't, I didn't care for that. It's an improper recording. Yeah, I see Ben over there. Are you mining or are you at the base? No, you're mining. I'm mining. So they said they changed the, um, uh, what do you call it? The rendering distance or something like that? Yeah. Good. Oh, uh, okay. Thanks, all. All right, I think this half a belt should be good for now. Flying towards twinkles, but they were the wrong twinkles. I noticed my because of the rendering distance, my frame rate goes down a little bit. You know, it seems a little bit choppier. Now, by adding new ice to this little room, we're going to see if the heating is going to be able to... Wow, the crushing of ice. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Um, um, oh. So, how much pressure can the um, Mark II tank take? Does anyone know off the top of their head? say 10 MPA at least is it 20 because I have a pressure valve set to 18 and this is not crushing ice for some reason oh because there's no tank <sighs> all right Problems. 20 okay perfect hang on I gotta go get the water tank actually I'm just gonna make another water tank More than the Mark One. Red's always a big help. Thanks, Red. Nice. <laughs> we want to say tank, liquid, liquid insulated. This one. It's, it's free advice. It's on the internet. the real tank instead of a portable tank. Not paying attention. Well, is it a bad choice? What? Just put in a big tank. Well, I, no, the, the, I, the ice isn't crushing because I don't think it has anywhere to put the water. I think it's filled up the pipe. Now we're going, oh, there's no, right. there's, there's no portable tank. In there, so and I made the wrong tank. I thought you made the large tank. No. Has the internet ever steered me wrong? Well, only when my gullibility factor is up. So port. Oh, there's actually a Mark II liquid tank. I didn't know that. 
I'm gonna make one of those. My DIY fence fix worked and I use the internet to tell me how to do it. Oh, you're a concrete post thing, right? Nice. Ooh, that thing's beefy looking. I like it. Uh, Super Kitsune. Thanks so much for that raid. Appreciate it. All right, so that hopefully fix the problem that I'm having, I think. Uh, okay. Appreciate everyone coming over today. What's going on today? I don't know. I'm trying to put out some fires here. Okay, so that worked, but I'm gonna go... We have a dump for tanks. Uh, we do. All right, so let's um, turn this off, that off. <sighs> Most of maintenance work includes Googling. Uh oh. That's on, and that this should be going down. That's dumping. I got a couple of stacks of ice on the way here. All right. Um. Hey Ben. Yep. Can you give me? Can can you um fix what's ever broken over here? I guess our one of our turbo fans I think is broken. Turbo fans, turbo. Valves, maybe. Thing I'm above. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah, that's what I was afraid of. This one got isolated from the Yeah, I can fix that. Okay, thanks. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you want to take my belt to take care of this ice? Oh, or... yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be the ice man. Appreciate that. My fear was I was dumping all this nitrogen into it and it wasn't going to flow anywhere and freeze up lines. It was a simple enough fix, uh, just the cost of materials and borrowing a tool to break up the old concrete. That's always nice. Yeah. Hey, well, I've been talking about this garage wall for probably about a month because I've been working between different things. And um, after my final coat of joint compound and the final sand, put up the uh, primer and um, today I'm gonna paint it, I'll be done. And then um, I think hey, Saturday. Look at that. Hey, Juice Man, thanks for the 19 months, man. Appreciate it. Uh, you are more than welcome, and thank you, Juice Man. I think next Saturday, uh, Alex and I are going to get out there with stud finders, find where all the studs are. Because um, we have a, a kind of an unusual wall. I have covered up a window um, because it was way too expensive to remove the window because the whole house and the garage is brick and masonry. People wanted way too much to do what they, and I don't have the skill set. I wasn't going to try it. So I did the proper. So all of our windows have got storm windows over them. So I don't have to worry about any sort of moisture coming through that or anything like that. 
but I did take precautions. I put that very rigid pink panther foam and I did put a vapor la layer over that and um, insulation. So as good as I can get it. Again, Juice Man, thanks for the 19 months. Appreciate it. All right, so I'm going to pop this off and grab. Okay, grab the Why do I have pink pipes in my hand? So we have to be very accurate to where we know where studs are. We had a, a, a rather getting electrical on the wall. Um, so normally you just drill through studs to get electrical, but since we had a window there, we had to go like through this stud and down then underneath the window, which of course has got your framing studs and then what they call cripple studs to support the framing of the window. So there was three studs here, three here. So six studs to drill through plus one in the middle so seven studs. We had to put those nails, spiky, kicky, anti nail things. Um, and when I got through the first three, that was okay. When I got through the next one, that was okay. But the next one, two of the two by fours where I was drilling, I hit a nail. So I had to change my position a couple times. It was, um, Caused, caused, um, you know, I said some words when I used to be in the Navy. So, yeah. All right, now with the sun out, what are the chances that you got a little bit of ice, but not, oh, there it is. Okay. You got some other stuff. Some oxide. All right. So they slowed down the ice crushing quite a bit, it looks like. That's that tank is pretty much empty, unless it's just slowing down because the pressure regulator is so slow. Um, I heard or I read somewhere, I should say, that um, apparently there's a built in heater to where the output of the ice crusher is out at 15 Celsius. Huh. Ice crushing involves getting the temperature first. Oh, uh, okay, so it's got a ramp. So so it's better to leave it on so it heats up and then, okay. You might be able, to, I heard also that uh, you might be able to change that temperature. Set. Oh, the program, so okay. Watch. All right, all right. That's why it takes so long. Oh. Right out loud, all right. Uh, used words from when he was in the Navy. Yes, I did. I was saying starboard, avast, arg, quite a bit. Oh, there's quite a few poop decks in there, too. Needless to say, when, when I stand six foot three, and I, I'm not at all ashamed of this, I'm about 310 pounds, shivering my timbers. Never have said that before when I was in the Navy. When I have to get down to the ground level, that is a lot of girth <laughs> to get up and down, especially when I'm down there at an odd angle and I'm trying to drill a straight line. Ship timbers. Oh, this is gonna take forever. All right, well, let's take what the other stuff you got here some iron and some silicone. Dispense of that here. These other gases, we can take downstairs and crush those. Now, why can't I use this one? Well, this one's just set up for just gases instead of uh, water. This goes right into the gas filtering system. So putting oxide, nitrice, and oh, carbon dioxide. Well, that come? So it'll heat up, crush the ice, and then cool back down. 
All right, that, that's amazing. That was sarcasm, by the way. So our power is down to 33%. That generator still running? Uh, yes. So I can see the little flashy thing up there. Yep. Yeah, I guess I got to start reading these notes a little bit better. I don't know. So now if, oh, okay. Okay. Wow, that severely dropped down. I wonder why it did that. All right. Where you at, Ben? I got your belt for you. Um, greenhouse too. Apparently, I'm dehydrated again. <laughs> yes. They uh, with the new game settings, uh, our our save has been reset to what it's supposed to be at. And I can't change it. Or it's it's actually what I want it to be, but for some reason it's not taking effect. So I have to figure out where they changed it. Oh, while I'm here, I'm gonna do suit maintenance. Oh, that makes sense. All right, so here's your belt, sir. I appreciate. There we go. And we have plenty of soup, soup here and water. Now, you know, in a pinch, if you're out there in the world, if you have your water and food ready, you could open your mask real quick, drink it, eat it real quick, and then you just get that lady yelling at you all the time. Yeah, in a pinch. Just not a fan of putting my poor character through what I think would be a horrifying experience. <laughs> <laughs> you mean your, your, your lips turning blue and whatnot? So then we open up this one. Oh, yeah. yeah, you can, yeah. Uh, hello, does a tutorial on how to produce water, wait, do a tutorial on how to produce water in Nevis? I don't know what that means. All right, so I had this out so I can see the picture. Just be fast, that's true. Uh, so these pipes have only got 44 liters should represent what's in the tank because there's no separate pipe. Cold. So the heaters are not interesting. Oh wait, it's 30. So if it gets below... If it gets below 20 degrees Celsius, the heater's kicking. Okay. No, make it one. Oh. Or get the off gas from some plant pro. That's true. That's true. The lady yelling at you? Isn't that what's being married? Wah, 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 wah. Hey, Joe, how you doing? All right. The temperature's fine. Oh, did they actually fix that now so you can have an alternate, so you can have a fill from either location versus... I wish they would do that with the small um, uh, battery charger, too. Oh, 
Okay. I guess with the logic setting, I could see the chunk. I could put a display console and pull. I could pull the hash and see the chunk count or something like that. Or something. What is your favorite waffle? Super Kits Kitsinu Kits Uni. Thank you so much for that follow. And to answer your question about the waffles, right there, that's my favorite, and that one too. That was sweet. This is not very exciting. Then you get the wiring all squared away. Yeah, I'm just updating the power board. Okay. All right, I'm confused then. I thought we were trying to maintain. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I looked at the wrong indicator. What do you think about the rocket changes? We didn't have a rocket before. We actually. Tried to do the original rocket and we're having problems with multiplayer and we're doing peer-to-peer -peer via Steam, not on a server. So I would see the rocket launch, Ben would not, and it would never come back. <laughs> so we gave up on it using trying to use traders, and we've haven't really we've gotten traders to show up, but we kind of put that on a back burner because we're trying to fix our power problems. And we thought we did. Then we're running into very high gas problems. So we had to address our cooling. We got that fixed. And um, now we have a power problem. So, and actually we have a solution for it. And Ben fixed our wiring issue here because it started off small, it was very manual. Then we started automating, adding too much power and we started bursting wires. So we have a more efficient filtering, more efficient cooling with some automation um and we did an experiment last sunday on a new gas generator setup and it works real good so we're going to try to duplicate that process as in also mount us instead of having one generator we're going to try, try two generators and see what happens and then after we get that all resolved somewhere along the line we'll find or i'll swap out the um tracking for our solar panel since they broke after this update. Um, and um, um, so once we fix our power problem, Ben wants to swap out the heat exchangers. Good. Um, and we actually have, this is site A. It's not pretty, it's functional, and it's actually taught us a lot about some of the stuff we didn't know worked. But way over there, there's a site B. Site B was going to be, or is going to be, take what we learned here and make it cleaner and look prettier over there. And I started it, but then we ran into some problems. I'm playing the Ripple right now. The new changes to the sun cause solar to such on the planet that you get, I, I am a 28 wind turbine right now. Oh, so you switch to turbines versus solar. Uh, Discount was saying that he lost most of his solar, too. If they had proper insulation, building faster airlocks again would be much easier. Have a great day. I have to relax. I have, I have, to, I have like the relax vibe. I'm heading to bed. All right, I got you. You and your pillow have a good fight. Or...
I think that's also an insulated tank too. That could be a problem. That means it's not being affected by the room, the room ambient. So as soon as I'm done crushing this, we'll have water in both of our greenhouses. I've stopped growing stuff because we grew it in abundance. Um, although we're probably going to go through our water and uh, tomato soup pretty fast here. So, oh, so with the where's oh the sun's over there. Okay, so I guess the panels. We'll wait until the sun comes up. I don't see them generating any power. I thought they'd at least get some when the sun goes by noon. We started a brand new world with this update on the moon this time, and we had some plans on how to design the base. First thing we noticed was the sunrise is south. Yeah, it used to be that way. Right, yeah, now it's that way. Still, I should be seeing some solar power, and I'm not. Oh, wait, here we go. All right, now it's coming in. Wow. I'll be back in a few minutes. We'll do. All right, that's slowly. All right. So I guess as soon as the sun is up there, <laughs> hidden by a wire. Yeah, it used to come from, um, used to come from 90 degrees. Now it's coming up from 180. You're absolutely right. Well, um, I've been told that if I, um, use the dual axis um, logic, those should start working again. Oh. Yeah, this ice crushing is very slow now. So I don't think if we get the rockets working, I want to go ice mining anymore. I just want to go gas mining. So the dual axis is perfect. All right, cool. Yeah. I guess that's more realistic. Instead of just grinding the ice up, it's gotta be melted somewhere, right? the top of the solar sensor when the sun comes up with only one sensor what do you mean that's all i got is the one sensor but you can grab both the axis information yeah the vertical and horizontal i tried dual axis with logic at first couldn't get the rotation correct so another player 
who had already made a laptop to help me out with the chip. The orientation of the sensor does matter when you do that dual axis stuff. Now I'm just speaking from what I had to do also, not from practical experience as I don't get it. All right, this is what I'm going to do. I am going to go in here. And I am going to do this. This off. Chug a lug. All right, and then guys, I need to do a little BRB. So I'm gonna do this, do that. You Discord, and then we'll get a game going for you guys. And uh, I'll be right back.
Alrighty, I'm back. Sorry about that. You get Ben back online here. Ben. Oh, Ben. Do, 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 do. For some reason, I could not see the game. So I had to do a reset on this side. So hopefully, if I broke it for you guys. Sorry. Hook tank's getting full. Oh, it is. Oh, why? Holy snikey, did I go through... Wow, I really eat up the oxygen. Why? I'm letting you guys finish this round. I'll bring it back in the game. I know, I haven't switched over. Let me get the um, thing switched here real quick. It, it's probably because it's not on the right scene. Hang on one sec, guys. Hang on one sec. Maintain. It's all good. Let me um, go over here, turn off that, and then when I switch scenes, there it is. See? The words on stream is balked. Come back. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, it was weird because it was working at the beginning of the stream and I don't know why it broke. The one thing I don't like about words on stream because they're constantly changing things on the back end. I always have to update <clears throat> the browser source. Ben's back. Ben, can you hear me? Hold oh, there you are. Good. <clears throat> Excuse me. I had to check my, uh, my CO2 tank, Ben, just uh, FYI. So things are going real fast in our game. We're eating through all the stuff. Yeah, yeah. 
I know, I know. So is what I have to do is find out if there's a way I can update back to what we were using before, because that would be really nice. Holy snack, I can see my O2 tank depleting. Oh no. Um, let's see. What is my suit set to? It's set to 91, but a target of 101. <laughs> that would be, uh, yeah, the Swedish chef. Pork, pork, pork. Yes, yes. So they said that by default, the suits are set to 101. So some planets, you have to reset it. Yeah, I've turned on the top side generator again. So I can reduce it. All right, let me see if I remember how to do that. I gotta go to the suit and pressure. Put it at 80. On the power thing, um, Muppets Treasure Island succeeds because of Tim Curry. Oh, I have to watch that again. I've only seen that, I think, once. I just have one more thing of ice to crush. And get back to work on the generators. All right, so let's actually, it's down to 60. Let's try. Oh, wait, sorry. Tim Curry treats himself as a fellow Muppet. I did read that, and since I didn't see it, I, I didn't know how to actually respond to that part. I'm really going through the CO2 filters, too. Wow. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to set my target to 25 and see if there's any, any ill low. Oh, okay. Low All right, so that won't work. <laughs> how about 30? I got a warning about my oxygen pressure so my target heat is 30 i think that's what i want to leave it at all right so i guess it's going a little bit slower up at christmas carol succeeds where michael Caine treated the muppets as fellow actors muppet treasure island succeeds where tim curry treated himself all right I didn't see many of the Muppet movies, except for the first Muppet movie, because that was unique. Him riding a bike. Then, of course, the next one, everyone's riding a bike, so. There's the whole thing. All right. <laughs> I will put that on my list of things to watch. Right now, I just started Fellowship of the Ring extended version. I'm going to watch all the extended versions of the three little movies, technically. All right, so, Ben, I'm officially done crushing ice. And there's much rejoicing. Yay. All right. Let's see if we can get, uh, with the time we have left, let's see if we can get two generators up and running. Sound good? Yeah. All right. Oh, and I needed sensors. Where do I find sensors? An electric? We only got one room. I just need one sensor still. I have to admit, I'm, I'm out of touch with um, 
the TV series I watched, I really, really enjoyed it. I thought it was always done well. All right, so if we put this here, the middle of a frame, is that gonna cause problems? Hey, good morning, Saturn. How the heck are you doing? I, I think I've seen all the Muppet movies, but like Muppets Take Manhattan. I think I've only watched them like one-ish. Well, excellent. So we're gonna call this, hey, look at that. Saturn, monster dropping in the gifted sub again. Dude, appreciate that so much. Monster, thank you so much for your holiday generosity. I really appreciate it. All right, so those are wired. I got those. Um, and I'm going to get two powered vents. Mm. You're using a batch rider for the active vents, right, Ben? Yeah. I'm just going over the, how, how we're doing that stuff in our head. Um. Yeah, I'm trying to set up a quick automation for this uh, gas generator here, then I'll join you over there. Okay. I, I've had it flipped on ever since I came in, and I haven't seen the heat really jump at all. But just our luck, right? Oh, there's a problem. Where's all the electrum? Solder. There's 32 in there. Gas generator reduced. I'll bet that Minimus becomes especially power tricky now. That's where we, um, that's where I, I uh, first used the gas generators on Minimus. Uh, I came up here, I'm gonna turn that off. And that's where we used our first iteration and then we started taking the output from the gas generator and sending it to a Stirling engine. That was fun. I tried to take the output from the second Sterling engine to a second one, but it wasn't working very well. Hmm. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Very rainy, it was it's rain. All we have is rain today. Nothing but water falling from this. Yeah, same here. They're saying it's another El Nino affected event. Forecast even said we might reach an uh, all time uh, temperature record. Oh, yes. Oh, I got to put windows up to mount this thing. Dang. All right. And did we use just normal cabling? Drop that. Um, question. Yeah. Do we want to uh, put the second gas generator here on the same Schmidt trigger? That's the first one. Oh, you mean the overheating one? Yeah. 
Oh, in the logic. Um, no. Maybe after we, if it finds out that we, we can run the base off of like this version, and if after we test it, we find out we can put more generators in one room and control the temperature, I think what we can do is let the base run off of these three and rebuild that one down there and put four down there so we can get rid of these guys or use these as backups or something. Okay. Hunter, what conditions do we want this generator to turn on? Oh, right now, did you turn off the generator? Oh, you did. Um, well, if the temperature gets too, oh, uh, let's just leave it on all the time. But the automation I was looking for was that if it gets too warm, that we increase the uh, KPA on the um, air vents. How about we turn it on if the battery charges uh, less than 95%. All right, sounds good. All right, we'll do that. All right. Um, all right, so the generator's off, by the way. It's getting very cold in there. Ben? Yes? Did you turn off the generator? Critical. Nope. All right, it's off. Is it unhappy about something? Uh, well, it's very cold in there. Can you uh, do the rocker real quick? To turn the generator on and off? Let's see. I don't see no switch move. Oh, there it goes. Okay, it's on. Do it one more time, please. Maybe one more time. Yep. It's cooling off in there really fast, so uh, do it again. Is there a vent on? Uh, all the active vents are on, I guess. That's not supposed to be on. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Just pressure as 150 anyway. So. Right, right. Minus six degrees. See the generator come on. Right, hang on. Do it again. Do it again. That's off now. One more time. Turn on. For some reason, we can't get it hot enough in there fast enough. All right. Um, yeah, it's it's cooling off faster than we can heat it up. That's what we have to do. We have to keep doing that. Do it again. Um, maybe turn off the cool. Oh, we don't have the uh, turn off the um, big vent or the power vent or so. Okay, now. Well, uh, Cycle the uh, generator. There we go. Now turn on the power vent. It's cooling off really fast in there, so we have to adjust. Um, all right, it's holding at 13, but going down. So I think our temperature in our nitrogen is really because the other generator is not using it, maybe. Yeah, it's minus six degrees over here on our input. No. Oh. That's different. Well, if it's not being used, right? If it's not being recycled. So I just turned on the other generator to see if that'll help. I got some soup maintenance I gotta take care of. So that's what I'm talking about. We we might have to figure out a way to keep the nitrogen's stable somehow, but that's our coolant. Hmm. Well, I thought we did. Well, it was staying a constant temperature because the other generator was using, was being used, but then I turned it off because it kept overheating. Okay, well, we can play with the pressure. Okay. It's interesting, if we're leaving that one on, I'm wondering why nitrogen isn't um, warming up from the first generator, or the second generator, excuse me. So right now I'm just looking for 
quick fixes until we try to figure out the automation steps. So I got the, our first generator is on and it's probably gonna turn itself off because it's getting warm in there. It's at 59 degrees Celsius and it should not go over 54. So it just shut itself off because it got too, too warm in there. But that's interesting because the nitrogen, oh, now it's warmed up to 1.6, it's warming up. It's interesting. How could it shift that fast? That's almost impossible. Well, we do have that generator with a one-way valve here, so we're not, I don't know. I don't know if that matters. No, it doesn't, because look, look, this yep, this purple pipe right. goes all the way down to the, well, then I can't do this with, with only two hands here. <laughs> goes down here. All right, and then we make sure we don't mix our heated with our already cooled. Doesn't back flush, okay. I think that might be a possible... Right, let's switch into voice here. Okay. All right, so... Um, all right, so the purple line goes down to the radiators and everything gets cooled. And when the temperature hits, the setting here, which is two eighty, two eighty, uh, which is what seven Celsius? Yeah, six point eight five. Right. Um, then those pumps turn on and they refill the insulated tank. Okay. And that's the supply to cool to keep those tanks cool. All right. What temperature Generator. do you see in the tank right now? Currently reading uh, less than a degree below zero Celsius. All right, so the temperature up here is 2.5 degrees Celsius. Now, oh. well, the, the thing is, um, we have a tank up here for cooling, but I don't think it's doing anything because, well, it's, no, we have a little bit of pollutant in the line here. So we are refrigerating this room right here. So if we bypass and just use your cooling back there, then I think it'll be constant. That makes sense? Uh, say that again? All right, so up here where I'm at, the, the original cooling chamber before we did the big one, it's still part yeah. of the cooling. So the smaller I tank up, now. huh? I thought we bypass that. No, we bypass the return cooling, but not the pre-cooling. Ah, uh, okay. So the, the chamber staying at 55 degrees and we're keeping it cool at 1.2. That was Hold before on. I... Th this is interlinked directly anyway, so... Yeah, if, if we what pull... What the heck does this tank actually do? Well, now it's not going to do anything. This was, this was how we controlled the cooling before you added logic back there because we were dumping warm back there and this couldn't cool it fast enough. So we put a bigger tank, with better cooling. Yeah, I think the intention was to retire this small tank here. Yeah, well, okay. so now it's not really connected except we're gonna clean this up this time. Yeah. So how do I... Oh. There we go. All right. I'm going to turn off this logic. We think we're ready to bypass this whole small tank here. Okay, go ahead. We just need, um, we need to see what the temperature is of the nitrogen that's going into the generators, though. We don't know that temperature. Well, I guess we do on the second generator. No, we don't. So we don't know the cooling of our gas, 276 Kelvin. That's two degrees. And that's that's what you have the setting back there for, is for, uh, no, that's yeah, actually- that's actually for, set for seven, but yeah. yeah. All right. Um, 
Right, because the idea, uh, we know that the minimum temperature is five. Um, is five, right? So we set it to seven. Right. Okay. So, so uh, um, we had some extra cooling in here that was just impacting everything. So by, by bypassing this small tank here, that should take care of the issue. Okay. Um, so we can actually turn this off, save a little power. Turn these off. Well, leave them on. There we go. Problem right. solved. <laughs> um, Sometime later, we'll just drain this tank. Is there an easy way to purposely damage your suit just a little? I'm in a tutorial where it wants me to fix my suit, but it isn't damaged, so I can't progress. It should have been damaged already, unless they, change, unless they broke the tutorial. And the way to damage it uh, the only way I've been able to damage it is like um, if you make a frame and you go to fill it and you're inside of it, that'll damage it. Or if you're doing some mining and you're just really close to your drill and all the debris, sometimes that'll do it too. Oh, it's broken? All right. Um, all right, Ben, can we reuse this these monitors here to see what's going on with our cooling back there? Yeah, take them down anytime you want. They don't serve any purpose anymore. Well, I mean, if we leave this here, so we don't have to run all the way back there and see what see what the temperature is. I'm sorry, what are you asking? We don't know what the temperature of our cooling is unless we pull out our tablet and take a look. I was going to see, can we repurpose oh, these? Oh, I see. Repurpose yeah, these yeah. consoles. Okay. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go back here and start hooking up pipes and stuff. Actually, was making a couple of things and I got distracted. So yeah, our first generator we can't keep it consistently running; it gets too warm in there. Somewhere I made two of these, and what did I do with them? Do it from the inside too. So. Oh. So what does it take to finish those things? Struck needs a pipe fit. Plastic. Should be heavy cable. Thanks, BJ. So, real quick.
Can I mount the sensor up there? Because... Or I know what I can do. I know what I can do. Access to the data cable outside. I guess we don't need it, but just in case, why not? Alright. So what we can do, do that. That. Then Pretty, but it works. So, if we have five power vents in this one, we should probably go to Ben. Yeah. Electro says, Ben, if you have freezing chamber for water with a hopper in the bottom, you can then move the ice into a second chamber. That will always have a large amount of zero degree water that can be used for cooling and freezing chamber and won't matter. That's gonna hit me in a minute. <laughs> well, he points it out to you because he, he knows he's gonna have to break out the crayons and start drawing me some pictures. It's a hard way around a phase change. Uh, yeah, I like it. Sweet. Fresh gooski. So, orientation is the pipes are on the outside. Um, yes.
Trying to make sure I have these red and greens. Flip those. I mean the the powered vent. That's what we that's what we're using. So so this is what we have here to maintain this without any real automation. We're able to use five active vents for one generator. Pumping in nitrogen at, I don't know what the temperature is. Let's see. It's a uh, five, six degrees. Okay, just didn't know why you wanted lots of small ones instead. So you're, well, I don't know. I'm going with what works here. Didn't they make vent size of a wall? That, they're saying use one of these and Use two of these, one to pump it in, one to pump it out. Yeah, we probably didn't need five. Okay. We can, we can. Um, but when we were using only four, um, even though we had the pressure set to 150, uh, it could only maintain 130. So it's being overwhelmed by the, uh, the big power vent. Yeah. That's why we went with more. Yeah. So with the powered vent, Electro, you're saying that instead of using active vents to pump in, use, an, use a powered vent to pump in and pump out? Yeah, that's the other thing we haven't tried. All right. I'm game. I'm just going with what we got to work. Now the big difference is the resources that these things cost. Um, so what we can do is we can put two for input, two for output. They should balance. And if not, you can do what you want. Just seems like, no, I didn't know. So the, the all right, now what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is leave, um, these in here just in case we need to brute force more in. also a power difference too we did look it up might need your help for a second here oh, yeah i'm trying to program this console here to read off of this pipe analyzer but i it just it's not registering right uh 
left side pressure. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So we're looking for coolant feed. I just see pipe analyzer. No pipe analyzer. Yeah, that's what I see too. Okay. Oh, hang on a sec. Small tank. Should the small tank be highlighted? Oops, dang it. Yeah, it's connected into the network. But we don't need it, right? No, we're going to retire that sometime soon. Okay. So... I just see pipe analyzer. It's weird. All right, now the pressure right now is changing a lot, but uh, you know, somewhere between 1.7 and 2 megapascals. Okay. Yeah, that's I don't not... know what the heck this thing's reading. Um, e. Um. All right. Put that back. Uh, rebuild the analyzer. Let me redo the cables. See if uh. Okay. See if that helps. source coming from this one over here. And did you rename that? Just pipe analyzer? I won't give it a name here. Right. Right, I think I need to turn it on. There we go. <laughs> yes. Coolant feed. Oh, that's so weird. I rebuild the console. Well, we could just read off the analyzer. I reckon. Let's see if this, uh. I could set up a digital display instead if these consoles don't work. Huh. Just sees. Pipe analyzer. Oh, found it. Aha. Uh -huh. Alright. There you go. Right. Uh, let me see if I can do the temperature one. Alright. Let me go ahead and replace the wires here. Since I stole them. Suit maintenance problems. Seems like today's ongoing theme. Yeah. I think of what it was. What what I see is a constant problem. Is if you come into a save where everything worked and then a couple things have broken. Um, for me, it was rebuilding a logic writer, and then if uh, the console didn't see something, I think the console needs to be re rebuilt. Okay. 
Okay. Um, well. The console is blinking, but it's working. Really? <laughs> I don't know what that means. Sweet. I don't know how I did it. <laughs> Makes it easier to uh, check out. All right, so temperature is slightly creeping on this one. Oh, that's right. I have to make two more powered vents. That was vent, powered, and now I need in-bar. Solder. What's that? Slight. see things in three dimensions I go with one change just to see if that works you know because if you make five changes you don't know which change actually did the change as a positive and then sometimes you don't know if those five changes one or two of them is working against your change so we did a big change from using not using turbo pumps and active vent or passive vents to active vent and powered vent and that worked and it was so darn easy. So I was just gonna replicate that for two generators in one room. Oh, I don't need the end bar down there, I need it up. Hey Mason, what's up? Yeah, trying some brute force here. Oh, you know what? Um, all right. Can I put that closer? Uh, yeah, I can. Okay. Uh, all right, first things first.
Okay, automation on generator two seems to be running. Oh, cool. As in just um, checking for temp or just the Schmidt trigger? Uh, nope, it's going to keep the batteries charged to 75%. Oh, that's right, that's right, I forgot. All right, how can I help here? Uh, pipes. So, Insulated um... Pipes? Well, this is this is the new direction. So we we have a powered vent doing the same thing that the power vent does there. It it, it draws it out, but instead of feeding in with active vents, we're going to use power vents to feed in the cold nitrogen. And if it's not enough, then I'm I got two active vents going. Okay. So what do I need? I need pipes and a wrench. you're going to need a poopy line. Uh, I've got everything uh, rough plumbed. So I have the, uh, except for fuel. Oh, you know what? Um, uh, gonna... Oh, yeah. Except these I... printers that gave us some insulated pipes um, okay. downstairs and upstairs because we're going to need a lot of them. Yes. And I just found out I made a little mistake back here. Fix it. The sun is blinking. I know. <laughs> That's just weird. This needs to be... Uh, this is output. That's input, right? All right, soup maintenance time, apparently. Purple is for the exhaust, which is this. That's for a plumb. How you doing, Mason? So we had some oddities from loading in the save from last Sunday, which I don't think it had anything to do with the update, but uh, it's a an, an ongoing issue I have, not all the time, but um, the um, sometimes logic not working when it worked before, and it looks like it should be working fine. So we, we track that down and fix that. I'm assuming that we're low on pat battery power topside. Right. Even though the sun's out, I'm going to fire up the, uh, since our panels aren't tracking, I'm going to fire up this generator. Go. Oh. Nice pressure. Then it's done.
right, so our green source is going to come this way. Let's get this all dialed in. Um, You know, when I play games like Factorio and and this and Satisfactory, I've I've kind of learned that I I might always think I have enough space, but I never do. So if I can future proof plan the space needed, then I'm good. So this down here was going to be for power generation and the cooling, which at first we didn't need because we were running fine off the single generator, then through changes. Uh, all right, so if I walk this line, that will work. Make something that feel aligned to you. All right. Oh. Go grab some insulated. I'm getting the nitrogen feed dialed. Oh, I've got tons of uh, insulated pipes okay. here for you. Yeah, I didn't use the ogre because it was bugged. Cool name by the thing, though. Oh, okay. Sweet. Uh, it's like a, it's a, a mini game. Pipes everywhere. Yay. All right. Mm. I mean, you know. Someone that plays a game with grind, where they do a lot of manual stuff, gotta give them props, you know? And again, I did use the Ogre, last time I used it was on Lowland? No, 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 I used it on the moon, on the mun, moon. Forgot which game I was playing. Um, but I had four of them and they would all do a weird dance shimmy thing. So I said, well, I don't want to use this anymore if it's not going to work. It would dig, return, and go halfway down, start to dig and start shimmying or something like that. So I went, oh, that's not right. I don't need a dancing excavator. a visual bug now uh, after you walk so far from the depot the drill disappears real oh but it's still so it's an invisible excavator all right i think i got that all set now if we do
Ben, are you still opposed to one-way valves or do you think it, it works okay? Um, I think we can just go in the dirt working okay for now. Upside batteries are at forty seven percent. Generators on, okay. Um All right, let's see if I can get the waistline connected. Will your food production keep? Yeah, it's like I said, evidently the change is in a different spot. I just checked my setting file and it's how I have it set, but for some reason it's not reading it correctly. So I'll have to uh, check. 
check with Discord and see what people are saying. So that's good. And the waistline. That field line is all set. Right. So I don't need to uh, it's in the... help you with the poopy line here. Uh, I've got pipes now. I don't know if I have enough. Do you want to verify the purple and green that I've got that dialed in right? All right. Connect. I think I have them all connected correctly. I think. Those, uh, so stationers is 1.5 on the food, water. I had mine at dot two five. Circle's perfect. Turn. Oh, what a power then an active event. Okay, that should be interesting. Well, if the if the two are power events. You know, so if the feed and the exit balance, yeah, then we don't need the yeah. yeah, we don't need the uh, act events. But if if one's running a little bit too hot or something like that, then we can uh, just turn on one act event. Or that was my reasoning, anyways. Did you intentionally leave that disconnected back here, or? Uh, oh, the power wise. The uh, the green line, green pipe. Um, oh, I, I I think I was looking for a valve. Nick, I didn't know if we wanted to do. Uh, yeah, I I guess I didn't hook that up yet. Okay. This is kind of dopey. Actually goes right through it. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, need more uh, regular pipe for the waistline. Got it. Actually, let me get that if you want to get everything wired. I don't have enough wires to do anything. Okay. Oh. Do you see they changed the um, the model or the asset for um, for the logic IO and whatnot? Um. So instead of like a single chip, they're bundled. Oh, no, I didn't see that. Yeah, so if you have them, so if you make one and it falls on the ground, it's like a bundled thing of circuitry and chips and stuff. Oh, yes, yes, I did see that. Oh, okay. All right, I'm connecting the green line here. All right. Uh, we're going to need, um, I'll get the heavy output as well. there
Here's some more uh, heavy green wire. Thank you. Thank you. Line is tied into the first or the second generator. Sorry, and these two these generators actually have a one way valve before it joins with the first generator, original generator. All right, so that's good. Okay, good. All right, so he's got that coming. I suppose. Oh, um. Lost a tool somewhere. What am I missing? Pipe branch, I have that, I have that. Oh, I'm not missing tooling at all. Never mind. I'm good. Alright, so let's see we got two wires. Got one wire. more heavy cable of course oh, oh <laughs> i bounced it off you line and oh good thank you there you go all right this might be a little bit ugly but it'll work well the uh wiring for the vents on top is going to have to come up and then to the left a little bit and then out for you to build uh, the rockers and circuits and stuff. Curious, how's the gas cooling going here? I see 
Wow, everything's like really cold. Oh, wait, so why is the hydrogen 10 degrees Celsius? Oh, they're all about that. So that's because we just dumped a bunch of... Well, what did we dump? Oh, I took some nitrogen, but it wasn't that much. So we got to figure out, we got to turn on some heaters. Or make some steel, I guess. Heavy line is run. All right, if you want to do some switches and, and stuff, not sure if you'll have the same issue as me. I can't get enough pressure in the pipes to provide cooling to the active vents. Uh, well, what do you, what do you mean for, for our room already? We, uh, we increased, um, we have a lot of nitrogen, <laughs> I guess. Um, we have a big O storage down here and we recirculate it. Thanks, Ice. So we have, um, let me see if I can get a accurate number here. So, how come I don't, oh, we have 1.7 kilomoles of nitrogen that gets cooled down here and then gets split here to go to our other generators and this goes to here and so we ingest it here it's being done by a turbo pump and but for some reason this generator just runs too darn hot we can't seem to well but we're using passive events here so i have to add another passive event but on this side though kaden we have the same feed, but we're using five active vents set uh, 150 kilopascals and one power vent that's drawing out and it's, it's balanced. So you can see our temperature. This has been, this generator has been running ever since I started the, the game. So we're going to take the same basic principle. We're going to do two generators in one room. But instead of using 10 active vents, which Electro pointed out to me, is that we're going to use the same power vents to draw the warm nitrogen out and use the same vents, same power vents to pass um, nitrogen, cold nitrogen in. All right. And just in case that's not enough to keep it cool, then we have two smaller act events all right That's right, blue. 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 Is that correct? Let's see. Um, 
Yeah, blue in, red out. Red out. All right, those are wired. Um, yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. Then blow a line over here. Uh oh. Well, I've had the solid generator on. Did that cause a problem again? No, no, it's a power line to the battery. Oh. It's supposed to be protected by this transformer here. We might have to bump up this transformer if we're gonna run uh, all these generators. More than two generators. That sounds like an easy fix. To, yeah, because this is power limited to 25 kilowatts. Uh, three generators would overwhelm that. Which one? The medium transformer? The medium back here. All right. Do you mind if I upgrade that and I get you to work on this electrical back here because it needs logic and switches? Yep, yep. Um, so unless I miss something with the pipes, um, you, you took looks our input, our nitrogen input and the fans are set correctly, right? I, I'm assuming it is. <laughs> well, it, it's, uh, it's, then we have to flip the direction of the, one of the power vents. Well, okay. So the exhaust one, All right? So the top one is input just like the other one. Okay. I see it's blue. Yeah. Yeah, and then the to draw out the warm there set the I mean it says outward so it goes that way instead of inward. Yeah, I think that's sucking it out, yeah. Oh, okay. Um and then the sensor, um, since it's two rooms, I put it in the middle of the generators there. Yeah, okay. And I had to piggyback over the power. Um so let me I don't know if you have I any need cables. A for that. Yeah, I've got a few cables. Okay. All right. But I'm actually trying to run the uh, the green line back oh, over for the data. Oh, for the data. Gotcha. Okay. Point. All right. Well, I'll go get a large generator and swap it out. And then do you have any logic that points to that transformer to do anything? That goes up to your board, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, huh. just like to the board, but nothing else. I'm not sure that's actually tied to the board. It's, it doesn't have a particular name. So I'm assuming transformers are on the way. Oh, and then we need consoles to take a look at pressure and temperature. Yeah. Yeah, I'm on my way here to print some parts. And I think I put some consoles in the locker down there by the first generator. Um, yeah, we didn't have a rocket, so we were the only thing that happened, and th uh, this isn't directly related to the last update, is I have a semi ongoing issue that if I have some logic in place that works, Sometimes when I load in my safe, randomly the logic will break somewhere, even though it looks like it's working logic wise, we have to rebuild part of it, like one chip, and then it'll work correctly. So that's the only thing we had a problem with. And since we didn't have any rocket, nothing broke, but all of our rocket parts got stolen in the middle of the night. Which is horrible. It's terrible. All right, so what do we have here? This is our input, that's our output. So if I put, do you have any logic actually? I can't tell. Here, it's input, it's on that side, right? Okay, so we can do.
I'm gonna go get some copper from our... Oh, I just got them. Oh, did you? Uh, let me split this back with you here. There you go. All right. Uh, I'm, I'm already here. We have seven stacks out at the mining storage. I'll put two top side and one bottom side. Test one, two, is my sound working okay? Yep, sounds fine. All right. What did I need? I forgot what I was trying to print. Um. Oh, all right, heavy cable. We might not make it in time. Oh dear. Yeah. Uh, but it's incredible how this new generator setup is running. Um, it started off with a temperature of 21. Well, actually, it's turned off because the logic kicked in. Our batteries are at 95. Yes. Uh, yep. Okay. 75, actually. Yeah, I said it a little oh, bit more. Okay. Look at that. Yeah, seven five oh, one. Good. Hydration critical. Uh, okay, so now it just dipped, so it should have kicked in, right? Yeah, yeah it sure did. Uh... Nice. I'm just waiting for heavy cable so I can get that heavy that transfer. I've got thirty heavies on me if you want them. I got. Some. I got. Oh, ooh, they're green. Sweet. Nice. All righty, so let's see if I can do this without breaking anything. So this transformer does what? It takes the input from uh, the generation down here? I think it just gives us a measuring point. Okay. I like how you said you think. We had to isolate it so we get a proper rating because it was getting mixed with the transfer line. Oh, the data. Oh, I got you. Okay. Yeah. Would you want to set the large generator to value? Uh, the maximum, 50K. Okay. Oh, Bluetooth. Darn you, Bluetooth.
<clears throat> Working inside these walls. Nuts. Transformers replaced. I didn't take the other one down. But I'm tapped into the power line here for the uh, wireless chargers temporarily. Need to go take care of some suit maintenance. So we can extend this by another 10 minutes. See if we can do a test run. Wait said the batteries were full but only one is um so that says 69 percent top side 73 percent bottom side I see the sun just kind of turn off and turn back on it's not just me right it's no, blinking it's, it is it is <laughs> all right so this shows that we should have what's that is that the solar and okay good i want to get an electrician to fix the sun okay Transformer swapped out. Hey, console, so we can see stuff. Cool. Um, you think it's okay to seal it up? Yeah. All right, sealed up. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna power up the fuel. can't see over it. I'm not tall enough. All right. Hmm. Uh, verified that we have the right amount of fuel going in. Exhaust is connected. And our output... Get some switches real quick here. Set up right. some rudimentary There was a couple controls. in the locker. Okay. Yeah, there's uh, two here. You're gonna need it. All right, sweet. So our cooling temperature of our gas by one generator, because the other one I have turned off is pretty darn cold because it was turned off by logic because it hit 75%. So right now, so whenever the top side is going up because the panels are getting some power. When there's a 10% difference, this massive logic bank here will pass power down here via a medium transformer. So if that creeps up to uh, 85%, it'll then transfer power. So top side with the sun out or the solid generator running will keep this, it should. 
So each time this drops below 75, that generator turns on. Now topside has a lot of power draw too, but that's that's creeping up. What are these guys turning on at all? Yeah. All right. So again, when that hits 85, we should see a power transfer. If it gets to 85. Oh, sun went away. Okay. You got your switches? Yep. All right, so the nitrogen should already be available, right? For the, and you got those programmed, nice. Very cold. Look at me, I'm helpful. Okay, looks like everything is wired in. programming here. <clears throat> That's for... Oh, I got you. Do you need more chips? Because we got to turn on the generator. Oh, no, you're going to tie... Generator's tied in, right? Logic-wise? Yeah, there it is. Uh, no, 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 it's no. not. Okay. Well, um... No, no, it's not. I need a third batch rider here. All right. You I got, got it? I got one handy. Okay. Yeah. Just make sure all the glass is in place. Oh, well, that one's missing. I gotta check. That one's there. That one's there. 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 I was rude. I just ran in front of me. That's good. good. That's good. All right. And the bottoms are welded.
Oh yes, I nice actually did that, didn't I? Okay. That's a quick fix. Riders inputs are all set. Uh, this one controls the active vents. That first one's programmed. And the power vents. Sets and then the generators. That's set. All right. All right. So that that last switch here, called Switch Gen Three Master, you turn that on, everything turns on. All right. So let's fill up the chamber first. Go ahead and turn on our. Um, I don't you have it. a master override. It's an on everything on and off. <laughs> oh. oh, is it all or nothing? All or nothing. This oh. is a quick and dirty. Okay. <laughs> yeah, works fine, see? <laughs> <laughs> all right, so pressure, temperature is climbing way too fast, so we're not... Wait. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's so... Uh, they're blue. Is that right? Can't remember. Let me disable the uh, batch rider for the gas generators, and then right. just run it without. So happens. to draw out, it needs to be a red switch, and then to fill, it needs to be blue. Um, so the blue's right. That's filling, so that should pressurize. Why isn't the powered vent on? Um, powered vent is on. It is? Yeah. You mean the big one? Uh, the exhaust one. Oh. Uh, I don't know. Did I not wire those? Oh, I oh, didn't I wire them. Uh oh. Okay. That was a problem. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's why I got hot too fast. Oh, yeah, look at that. I think that's got it. Pack that thing up for some reason. All right. Good. Cool. Yep. Fire and hole. Temperature dropping. Yes. Good. Dropping a little bit too fast. So. Uh, it looks like it's leveling up. Yeah, we got too. It's gonna to get too cold and shut up. All right, so maybe um, let me disconnect the power from the active vents. Uh, I can turn it off. Um, oh, I thought you had just had all or nothing. All right. All right. That batch rider just for the active vents. 
uh, the top one, yeah. Um. You got no pressure. Yeah. So the green pipe goes to all of them. Power helps, but the crusher. Oh, sorry, you guys. Are All I did was disconnect the power for the active vents. Um, a quick check on the input nitrogen. I see plenty of nitrogen in there. Maybe we're drawing too much out. Turn that off. I'm going to disconnect one exhaust power the vent. Exhaust vent. Yeah. yeah. Does it matter which line I pull? Which which one is the power? From your point of view. Uh, the one on the far side. So left or right? Yeah, power is coming up from up here. Yeah, I, but, okay. But is it the... I don't know which one is the power in the data. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, on my left here is the data. On the right is the power. Okay, where'd you go? Oh, so which one... Do, okay, which one was power again? Power is on the right. My right? Uh, my right. So your left. Okay. All right. Go ahead. See if that does anything. There we go. It's a little chilly in there. Okay. So we might have to bump up the. Oh no! Actually, it's leveling off. Okay. All right. So it's going to oh, get. Wait, that's climbing fast. Yeah. Or is it? I see that we're generating 23 kilowatts, so that's nice. That's working. So I'm wondering if we add an active vent power. You know what? The active vents aren't even. Did I clip the wrong cable? Even on right now, no. Yeah. The batch wire to them is turned off anyway. I seem to have. Maybe I clip. Oh, I see. I I just clipped it at the loop. Okay. Um. So if we add just real quick power to that one active vent here. Uh, hold on. The, oh, my temperature. Oh, temperature leveled off. Wait. What did you just do? I added uh an input on for the. Uh, oh, I need to turn this on. This on. All right, so we have two power vents on, adding nitrogen, plus one uh, power vent, one um, active vent. So the pressure two is power and one active. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then the draw the so the temperature's climbing. All right, Kata. Yeah. yeah, we're about out of here. Well, it's in and out. Yeah. It's up and down. I mean. So the question is, what's the temperature of our input nitrogen? It's pretty cold. It's too cold. Oh, and the pressure's low. That's what the problem is. We only have 58 kilopascals in the pipe to provide. That's probably why. Um, yeah, that could be a problem. Yeah. All right. Well, that's what we can tweak next Sunday. All right. I'm going to run over to Greenhouse, too. All right. Let me catch up with chat here. Um, so I hooked up an ice crusher to liquid pipes and into a bottle filler, but it does not fill bottles. You also have to have, um, when you crush ice, any kind of ice, there's a gas output. So you have to, the ice crusher will hold so much but you also have to have a, a, a gas tank hooked up, a portable or big one. 
Oh, it was power. Okay, never mind. Saturn, you were saying something about your raspberry. Oh, I gotcha, gotcha. Completely dead, thanks to Pi, gotcha. Okay, did you have a good supper? Didn't you want pressure at 150? We do, we do. But see, this is a, a different setup, Electro. This, we have pretty much dialed in. But um, we have not enough pressure in our nitrogen. So we'll probably have to add more or adjust our settings back there. So. Or do a kind of a, set up a, a pump to pressurize the input a bit. Got, yeah, gotcha. Because the volume's there, it's just not the pressure. Right. The, the pipe network's so large now. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Talking about water, do I need to pump the water manually to a container? No. You don't have to let me show you mine real quick and we're out of here um so here's the ice crusher you put in the ice turn it on i have a valve just in case and then i have a pressure regulator to make sure i don't over fill a canister so this right now has it's okay because it's a mark ii so the water comes out and it goes right into my network here and we have radiators on it so the room temperature helps warm up the water zandy said water ice outputs a little bit of nitrogen so you should also yeah so um we our Ben successfully isolated our electrical over here. So when this stuff runs, we shouldn't be popping any wires anymore. And we also popped a wire down here because we we're adding the generators and it was, it was exceeding how much. Oh, this is on, but oh, is that, oh, we turned off the generators. Oh, that's interesting to have you look at that next time for some reason an input right that input it's on but not on on interesting All right <clears throat> i use the pressure regular as well ben is in his chair nice and comfortable guys yep. let's roll some credits here real quick ben see you next sunday on the moon uh Kinsu, thank you so much for the follow. Juice, thanks for the resub. Monster, thank you for all the gifted subs. Appreciate that very much. And we'll see you guys tomorrow with um, some Kerbal. See you guys. Have a good one.